Hey my squidlings, it's Katie here. Welcome back to yet another three marker challenge. I hope you guys aren't sick of these. Uh, this is going to be the cool tone challenge. I decided to do something kind of based off the cool tone and warm tone challenges that Sophia alluded did. And uh, I thought it would be fun to just do it with three markers instead of, you know, my whole arsenal. So kind of limiting myself. Um, I also did a basic three marker challenge. And again, I will leave a card up on the screen for that if you want to check that out. So um, I just thought it'd be fun to do something a little different. So um, we're just going to go ahead and pick the markers. These are all of my cool tones, no skin tones or anything included. All right, where's my bowl? There it is. Okie doke. We're going to go with this one first. This one. And this one. <laughs> Alright, so we've got, let's see, B, B95, that's a dark one. G28, that is also a dark one. And YG06, ooh. Not super pumped about these colors, but we're gonna make it work. So uh, let's go ahead and do the illustration portion of this video, and I'll talk about all the challenges I face. All right, so first off, I decided to use the Colorless Blender, as you can tell right now, to kind of blend the skin out, but I didn't really like the effects of it on the paper I'm using, which is the Expressive Blending card. I just didn't like it. So I decided eventually, of course you won't see it quite yet, but I decided to stop using that and just kind of let the colors go, you know, together by themselves and blend them accordingly. When I did this marker challenge and I drew the markers, I really wanted purple for some reason, but I didn't get a purple. I got two greens and a blue, which they really didn't, like they weren't compatible at all and I had no idea what to do with them. And um, you know, months later, I was just kind of thinking about it, and I was like, well, what could I do? So I just decided to do this kind of, I guess you could call it a bust. It's more like a hair portrait, to be honest. It's like a picture in the hair, and I thought it was pretty cool. Um, this actually, this idea came from me swatching the colors, and I swatched them all together, and it actually kind of looked like a pond with grass on either side of it, and so I was like, hey, that's a really cool idea. I tried to blend the markers to my best ability. Of course, I tried to keep them somewhat unblended in certain areas. I also tried to layer them, but I found that layering them really didn't do much for me, at least layering them on top of themselves. Um, it didn't give me any extra color, not really, and I had like two really dark colors and then a really light color, and it just didn't work. I thought all of the markers were against me, but I ended up making something that I really liked. I want to thank everyone for their orders during my Black Friday sale. I really appreciate it. Uh, all your support means the absolute world to me. So here is a look at the final piece. Thank you guys so much for watching. I really appreciate it. If you aren't already and you want to be a part of our cute little squid pod, you can hit the button down below. And there's a little bell next to it that if you click that, you get notified on when I upload new videos. And until next time, guys, toodaloo!